Hi, I'm Simon, and this is a follow-up video to one that I did a few months ago asking you guys, will you or won't you buy a Wii U on launch day? And as you can see from the title of the video, I didn't buy one. I haven't got one yet. Whether I'll get one in the near future is... Well, it's kind of why I'm pondering here and what I want to talk about in this video. Now, one of the reasons I haven't got a Wii U is because I can't actually get one here in Chengdu. As far as I'm aware, the Wii U hasn't been launched in Hong Kong yet, and it isn't available uh, here in Chengdu, as of making this video. Anyway, whether it will be available in a few weeks' time, I, I don't know. But in my original video, it was asking about launch day specifically. I was thinking launch day in the UK, and my original plan was to get one. And after the past few weeks, I mean, obviously it's been more than a month since the US launch and about two weeks since the UK launch. And I've been thinking, is, is it something I would have done on the 30th of November in the UK? Would I have bought a Wii U when you consider that there was a two week window between the US launch and the UK launch and all of the videos and all of the reviews that were online? would I still have gone out and bought it? Because I don't honestly think that I would have done. Would I have spent £300 to get this console after everything I'd read and heard? Now you see, although there haven't been lots of bad reviews for the Wii U, I haven't really heard any ones that state it being as an outstanding, groundbreaking console that you've got to rush out and buy. That's the problem. You see, I already own an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 3. Would it be worth it for someone like me to go out and then get the Wii U? Sure, if I only owned a uh, an original Wii, which I also own, then maybe there might be a reason to go out and buy this new high-definition console. But as it stands, does it really offer enough to attract a gamer who already has either a high-end gaming PC or an Xbox or a PlayStation 3, I kind of figured that it doesn't. Now, I mean, it's had quite an impressive launch of titles with it. We've seen 29 titles in the US, I think, and 26 in the UK, plus some other download-only games. So that's a large amount of uh, different types of games available that can suit pretty much anyone's tastes. But the feedback I've heard from gamers, some of you guys, about this system so far has led me to think that it's nothing special. The current crop of multi-format titles that have been released on it have been, at best, kind of Xbox 360 ports, at worst, cut down versions of them. And the exclusive titles like Zombie U, for example, have not lived up to the hype. So I was thinking that without that key must have title for the system, I don't think I would have rushed out and got it on launch day. Even though what it, the system represents is something good, I don't know. And also, many have spoken about the fact that it will be underpowered compared to the next generation of Xbox and Playstations. And then some have argued, well, that doesn't really matter because, well, look at the Wii. The Wii was underpowered compared to those ones. It was essentially a previous generation console. It was a, a tarted up version of the GameCube. But the Wii had novelty. It brought something new that the other systems didn't have. It brought motion gaming. It reached out to a whole new audience of gamers. Whereas this one, the Wii U, I don't really think it does. It's not technically impressive enough to bring over hordes of uh, hardcore gamers. Also, what it can do with regards to its touchscreen gamepad is 
as far as I'm aware, nothing that can't be done by a PlayStation 3 and a PS Vita linked together. Now, that's not to say that I, I mean, I honestly believe that Nintendo will make better use of this gamepad because it's at the heart of every game. Everyone who owns the system owns the gamepad, so it's going to be used a lot more effectively than any PlayStation 3 game. Or, well, I can't really state that at the moment, can I? I haven't seen what's been done so far with the PlayStation 3 and the PS Vita being used together. Who knows? Maybe they could come up with a, a Nintendo beating title that makes better use of the gamepad or the, the touch screen controller than Nintendo have, but I somehow feel that Nintendo is going to bring the better titles that use this functionality, but still, I don't know. See, I am confused, but I don't really have to worry about this just yet. I get to wait a little while longer because I think if I am going to get one, it won't be until February when my wife goes back to the UK. Um, and if I really want one, then I can just ask her to pick me one up at that time and bring it back over here. So I've still got a few months left to see what the next crop of titles that come out in the new year are like and if there's really something that I must have for the system. But I'd like to hear from you guys because some of you will have already bought this system. So is it something that you're really pleased with that you feel you can't live without or is it something you're already looking to sell on eBay? Or, well, those of you that haven't got it, what about you? What are your thoughts? Are you going to hold on for that must-have title? Are you, like me, thinking, well, when it has its version of Heavy Rain or the Uncharted series, something, an exclusive of that quality, are you going to buy it? Or are you just going to skip it altogether and just hold on to your cash until the next Xbox or PlayStation comes out? So, as usual, I'd love to hear what you have to say, but for the time being, from my spare room to wherever you are, this is Simon signing off. Bye-bye.